Hey, Kaylee, you hear about this story? A miracle, I would say, in Missouri. The family of a teenager trapped inside of her car after being involved in a head-on collision says a mysterious priest shows up out of nowhere, and she says that's the reason she's still alive. So here's what happened. 19-year-old Katie Lentz was trapped inside her car for nearly an hour after being hit by a drunk driver because firefighters were having trouble with their tools. So she asked them to pray, and she says, please pray out loud. So that's when everyone says a priest arrived from really out of nowhere and blessed Katie and the rescue operation. After the blessing, another fire company arrived, and they were able to cut Katie free from that car. But the priest, true story, nowhere to be found. Gone. So Katie suffered several broken bones, but she will survive. Fire crews even say this was nothing short of a miracle. They were all looking around for this priest, and they still to this day, they, keep, they don't know who he is. They couldn't find him. Maybe God <clears throat> looked down and wink. I have never yeah. heard of a, I've never heard yeah. of a God wink. Uh, but we actually have a segment that we're talking about today, God Winks. That's right. We have a power couple sitting right here with us. He is the best-selling author and former network <laughs> TV CEO. She is one of the world's best comedic impressionists. Please welcome to the show, Squire Rushnell. Squire, good to see you. Good morning. morning. How are you? And Louise Duarte, good to see yeah. you. I'm Joan Rivers today. Thank you very much. much. She's like Joan. I feel so Joan Rivers today. <laughs> Listen, I Joan? have a crush on about a hundred different women. Really? They're all living inside my wife. Oh, they are. Paul Streisand has a crush on Mike. <laughs> 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 wow, you're good. <laughs> we just did a story about Judge Judy. Ju oh. Do you see stupid on my forehead here? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay, we got to get into this because we don't see yes. much. Okay, else. yeah. Ex did we explain God wink? Would, would you say that's a God wink? Well, yes, because a God wink, another, a God wink is one of those little coincidences that you knew that really had to come from above. But another meaning is answered prayer. Okay. And there is evidence in that story that that four letter word, P R A, why is the most powerful word in our language. Hmm. We don't know how powerful it is. And when you get a prayer answered, it is a God wink. Here's a, uh, when I saw you a few weeks ago, I, can I bring up the example you used yeah. with me? The first, to explain what a God wink is. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to tell Chanel, because she's so young, who <laughs> Emmett Kelly was. Right. So yeah. he got, he, go ahead. Okay, Emmett Kelly, sad faced. Yeah. He had made a career of looking like that. He His had face. the sad faced uh, he was the sad-faced clown with Ringling Brothers. That was his trademark. He made sure he never had a picture taken with anything but that sad face. But there was that one time he was being interviewed by a UPI photographer reporter and during the middle of the, the interview he had a phone call from the doctor. Emmett! Congratulations, you're the father of a new baby girl. So and the photographer look, takes a picture of it. Yeah, yeah. He took that picture and it went around the globe. Now, fast forward 25 years, the baby grew up. Stacia Kelly is her name. There, there she is. is. Okay. The baby grew up and she gets that terrible phone call that her dad has died in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. She quickly packs a bag and she heads for the airport. She takes some memorabilia with her and so forth. She gets on the plane, opens the morning paper, and there's her dad's picture. Emmett Kelly dies at 80. And then she remembered that story that he had told her so many times about that one time. And she reached into her bag and pulled out one of those old yellowed newspapers that had the only picture of her dad smiling ever. Taken by that one photographer. What was his name Frank? Well, his name was Frank Beatty. Yeah. And, <clears throat> and so she suddenly understands what he was smiling about. It never dawned on her what her father was smiling about. He was smiling about her, and she began to cry. And the man seated next to her on the plane said, Miss, are you okay? And she said, yes, my father died last night. He turned ashen. He said, you won't believe it. I'm the photographer who took that picture 25 years ago. No way. What are the mathematical odds that that man would be seated there at that moment to bring her a peace? <clears throat> that surpasses all understanding. Is that a God wink? That's a God wink, mm -hmm. and it's also divine alignment. Divine alignment takes the idea of God winks to the next level, where we are understanding the mysterious connections that cause us to meet the right person at the right place at the right time. Well, you, you can, what? Well, there's 300 million people living in the United States. Yes. I was born old many, many years before Chanel here. Yeah. Do you know that our mothers, and I've worked all over the country, as you know, yeah. and 
Our mothers went to the same high school. Get out! It's yes! Oh my God. No, it's crazy. Yeah. <clears throat> what are the mathematical odds? It's, no, it's it's, it's, two, it's, two it's almost incredible. so mind baffling that we barely yeah. even talk about yeah. it because it's right. so crazy. And now yeah. we're together. So the and and the web. If you Google, obviously this book, you know, and, and when God when winks, God winks dot com, people are going we'll crazy over. It. Can you come up with example after example, just like what we've been talking about? Oh, yeah. absolutely. Well, I have a Godway gathering on Facebook every day. Facebook.com slash Godwinks. 155,000 people share their God winks every day. Wow. And you know what it does? What? It gives everybody else encouragement yeah. that there is a direct connection there. What would Barbara Walters think of this? Well, Barbara Walters, of course, you know, I've interviewed <laughs> everyone from Ronald Reagan to Contabuisa Rice to Barbara Redford, was and Marshall to watch a rabbit. And I would say it's just terrific. What about Barbara Streisand? Would she say, I mean... She'd say, you know, people who need people <laughs> are, are codependent. <laughs> are you gonna, Are you performing in our area? <gasps> yes, I'm going to be with the great Tim Conway. Woo! Whoa. Yeah, yeah, back on the Love road. Tim. Back on the road, yeah. Tim and Louise. <laughs> Tim and Louise, and we're going to be, where are we, You're going to be in Wilmington at the DuPont theater, oh, a yes. great theater, great theater, on the right 24th, okay. yes. and on the 25th in Lancaster at the American Music Theater. Yeah. You just go on those websites. Yeah. This is going to be an incredible show. Yeah. Clips from the old Tim Conway oh. show. And live, Louise and Tim do doing sketches, sketches yeah. together. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. You guys. Oh, yeah. good, good, good. What a couple. Oh, is this yeah. the best couple? Yeah. I want to have dinner with you guys, and I just want to pick your brains. Please do. Aren't they awesome? It's like 100 people. It's like 100 people all at once. In that one body. In that one body. Great to see you both. Fantastic. Just say good, say good, say good night. <laughs> Good night, Gracie. I'm amazed. She does guys, too. I'm scared to say I was a man. Uh, I'm speechless. So great to see you again. All right. Good All to right. see Good you. Good deal.